Most wild animals have one thing in common that allows them to survive in the bush, day in and day out, and that's the word run. They run to hunt, and they run to save their precious little heinies. If you want to see some amazing chases worthy of the best action films, keep watching as we count out. Number 14. Wild Dog vs. Impala Impalas are speedsters, but when you look at this wild dog chasing Impala through a body of water, you realize the dog is no turtle. It seems as if the Impala has a harder time running through the water, and this gives the dog the edge. By the time the Impala reaches the river's edge, the dog has caught up to it, and you know what happens next. Another Impala tries to escape the grasp of a couple of wild dogs as it jumps over some bushes onto the sand, but trips upon landing and the dogs are all over it. The wild dogs simply rip the insides of this Impala while it is still alive. They don't waste any time in dispatching it. They simply eat their way right through it. This wild dog corners an Impala and easily grabs it because the Impala has nowhere to go. Like the world's most renowned butchers, the wild dog and his friends dismember the poor victim in seconds and have it for lunch. This pack of wild dogs grabs this impala and pulls it out of the water at the speed of light, devouring the entire animal in minutes. This impala stands in inches of water, thinking it will deter these wild dogs from attacking it. I'm not sure if this impala just landed on the planet, or if its parents didn't read her books on wild dogs during her formative years. But this Impala is in trouble. The dogs jump into the water to get a hold of it, but some nasty hyenas change the game, and this may be helpful to the Impala. The dog hesitates, and the Impala has time to think about a getaway plan. Plus new videos every day for your entertainment. Number 13. Hyena Chasing Leopard The leopard is a sneaky cat, and this leopard has just stolen the remains of a buffalo carcass. The hyenas are not pleased, and they chase the leopard. The leopard runs, but eventually returns to challenge the two hyenas, and they decide to chase him out of there. This brown hyena looks like it borrowed a costume from Lady Gaga's closet, but that doesn't stop it from chasing this leopard. The leopard doesn't stand his ground and sprints for the first tree he sees, climbing to the top back to safety. I'm not sure if the leopard was afraid to fight the hyena, or if he was just plain terrified of what it looked like. This leopard mom is minding her business, playing with her cub, when two hyenas show up. The mom is on guard and watches the scavenger's every move. She knows her cub is vulnerable to an attack and will defend him at all costs. The hyena comes closer and smells the air, while the leopard watches attentively. The hyena continues to smell the grass, but uses the tactic to get closer to the cub. What a sneaky and wise animal this hyena is. The leopard lets out a few warning growls. When the second hyena arrives, the hyenas mind their business, but you kind of feel they're just waiting for the right moment to strike. This hyena gets too close to this leopard, and the leopard lets her know it. The hyena backs down, but for how long? Number 12. Fox dives headfirst into snow. This astute fox possesses an impressive set of abilities. Deep snow blankets the black hills of the Dakotas, and field mice are stirring beneath the icy blankets. The odds of catching anything may appear hopeless to others, but not to him. He makes a huge leap to catch a critter hidden beneath three feet of snow. But how in the world does he do it? He's narrowing in on something, but it requires intense concentration and complete silence. His ears can detect even the smallest scamper from beneath the snow. But wait, there's a catch. Unless he's facing the north, he almost arrives empty-handed. But how is this even possible? As unbelievable as it may sound, scientists now believe he's homing in on the planet's magnetic field, which he's using to calculate and plot his trajectory. It's the same type of math used by missiles to hit their targets. Even the smallest distraction can throw him off track. However, if he has his sights set on the North Pole, he is almost always guaranteed a meal. Red foxes, like most foxes, use their superior hearing to detect mice and voles through the snow. Once a red fox has pinpointed its prey's location, it leaps into the air and nosedives for the kill. This arctic fox's keen hearing detects a faint sound beneath the snow, hemmings. To catch one, he employs a unique pouncing technique known as mousing. He must determine the precise distance as well as the depth of the snow. He's a beginner, so he'll have to practice for a while before he's good at it. Number 11. Jaguar vs. Cayman 
For millions of years, caiman have been the top predator, but now the hunter is being hunted. A stealthy jaguar sneaks up behind this caiman relaxing on the beach and crushes its neck, and his days of soaking in the sun are numbered. The caiman went on an all-inclusive vacation at the most popular resort and ended up being served at the lunch buffet. Tonight, this fearless, self-assured hunter is on the prowl for a young crocodile. The jaguar is the largest and most powerful cat in the Western Hemisphere, as well as the world's third largest cat after tigers and lions. Jaguars are at ease in the water. They are, in fact, one of the few cats that enjoy water. The typical male jaguar weighs 200 pounds and lives for 12 to 15 years. It is a critically endangered species, primarily due to the skin trade and habitat destruction. This jaguar is displaying lethal self-confidence as it fishes for crocs. There's no doubt about who will win this battle. It's finally time to seal the deal. It's easy to understand how the jaguar got its name. It is derived from the Garina Indian word, jaguaro, which means beast that catches its prey in a single bound. Slowly but steadily, a female jaguar approaches a caiman. The caiman moves quickly when she goes for the kill. And once the jaguar sticks his head out of the water, he can't find the caiman. He'd better be careful and make sure the caiman isn't lurking beneath him, ready to bite his paws. After killing a caiman, this jaguar has a difficult time carrying it out of the water. He eventually succeeds by pushing himself up with his powerful hind legs after a few attempts. This jaguar notices a caiman that has made a kill. He makes a break for it and attacks the caiman. They fight for a few seconds underwater, but it doesn't take long for the jaguar to resurface with a dead caiman and carry it out into the forest. Number 10. Cheetah vs. Wildebeest Dry grasses provide a much-needed meal for the wildebeest once they've escaped the scorched earth. But as they fill up and rest, new challenges await. They weren't the only ones who had been displaced by the flames. The speedy cat, resembling a cheetah with his spotted coat, disappears in the dry grass. And he's not alone, as he's joined in the chase by his brother. This young wildebeest flees for his life, but it is outrun by the fastest land mammal. Plains predators are a constant source of death for many of the residents. A cheetah coalition of five cheetahs attempts to hunt a large wildebeest. You can see how strong the wildebeest is because it is still standing and attempting to free itself despite being surrounded by five felines. They'll have a bigger problem once the cheetahs bring it down. As a cackle of hyenas approaches and the vultures are not far behind, the scavengers begin to laugh as they approach. Can't a hungry cat have some peace and quiet every now and then? Another cheetah coalition of five kills a wildebeest, and this time there were no scavengers in the mix. Before calling it a day, the cheetahs finish their meal and drink some water. A calf follows its mother as they flee to safety. The cheetah has shifted into high gear, closing the gap between itself and the targets. Even though the cheetah is fast enough to capture the calf, the attack is usually dangerous. The cheetah's flanking and hooking of its right front leg is a lethal tactic due to its slender stature. If he suffers a serious injury, he may lose his life. The wildebeest in this case is a broken leg, but it could easily have been the other way around. Surprisingly, rather than the mother of the calf, the herd bull confronts the cheetah, forcing it away from the calf. When the cheetah realizes the calf is seriously injured, it attacks again. But the herd bull defends and saves the calf a second time. Number 9. Lion vs. Impala I'm not sure if this is a real thumbnail, but if it is, this impala certainly got a taste of this lion's medicine. The lion resembles a crocodile devouring its prey whole. This lioness chases an impala into the water and easily subdues it. This lion has killed an impala in the middle of the night and is eating the animal's back while it is still alive. The dying animal makes no sound as the lion slowly brings this horrifying scene to a close. Akagera's impala are larger and stronger than those hunted at home. Their horns, like great spears, tower over them. The lioness is unfazed and sits tightly. Her only option as a lone predator is an ambush. She charges at it, her claws clamping down on the Apollo's windpipe, suffocating it. She drags her prey to the safety of the shade. Its fate is sealed by this broken hind leg. The rest of the herd is at a loss for words. They've never seen a kill before, but suddenly, the lioness is having technical difficulties when her prey tries to flee. But it's not easy on three legs, even though its horns are still dangerous. The kiss of death is delivered by the lioness. It's been difficult for the female cat, but she's a survivor, 
and her days of solitude are coming to Annette. She is a new single mother of three healthy cubs. Instead of fighting, these two Impalas should be more concerned with the enemy. But because they're not, one of the two combatants is devoured by an entire pride of lions.